This is Die Sporting Network. What, what? Hello, folks. Welcome you back here on the Die Sporting Network. High school basketball action coming your way to St. Francis Panthers. Back in business, home opener tonight up against the Mount Camel Krugers. Mount Camel and St. Francis have one thing in common. They both placed Gertel the past week. St. Francis went up to Fingsburg and took care of Gertel. Mount Camel wasn't quite lucky as Gertel was able to defeat them early. Murphy in the middle for the tip off and St. Francis gets it first. West lost it out of bounds and Mount Camel will get it. So Mount Camel brings it up. A young team in the form of rebuilding. As rushing pulls up, that one tipped and missed. Back to Tolls the other way. Jones, the senior, pulls up and was short on the jumper. The rebound goes to Quickly. Back the other way. Perry has it. He drives to the hoop, puts it up, and it tipped and missed off the backboard. Rebound by Murphy, and here comes the ace coming down the court for St. Francis. Ace for three. Puts it in. That's a way to start a home campaign. The ace starts it up. A 3 nothing game for him. And Perry brings it over for Mount Campbell. Back over to rushing. Rushing drives. Reverse layup goes in. Nice there by rushing of Mount Campbell. Back comes Tolls. And a foul against Mount Campbell. First call. First shot goes. And both of them go in. Back over the other way. Oh, what a nice three. First of again, rushing. Puts it back in the basket from Al Camo. Toes back to the ace. The ace fakes the shot there. Ace kicks it over to Jones. Jones back over. West, far from where he usually likes to be. And Murphy inside. First time he's had the ball inside. And it spins out on him and he's shooting two. Edwards is called for the foul. Murphy shooting a pair here. Had a good summer and fall in both the Summertime Grind League and the Tunnel Vision Fall League. That was hosted here at St. Francis. You can check that out on the Die Spinning Network. 6-4 game so far. Rushing's two amazing reverse layups have been the scoring for Mount Camel. They're in the blue uniform. St. Francis in the white. Off the backboard, a turnover. And St. Francis gets it back. 6-0-7 here left in the first. A new regime here at Mount Camel. Jones is open and hits. Ten for a game for St. Francis. Rushing has it now. Rushing spins, kicks it out. That's a three from Thomas, and he hits. Nice wide open three there, and it's a three point game. Inside, blocked. Nice block there by Edwards, and he brings it. Back out the other way. Thorns had it briefly. 
He gets it back now. Way pass past to Perry. Rush, rushing's inside. He kicks it back out. Edwards kicks it. And not quite there. Three second lane violation against the Cougars and the Panthers will get it back. The ace brings it up now. Adrian Baldwin. Tried to get the steal by Edwards and the ball sipped out of bounds. That was a nice hustle there. So the referee still getting together. No foul so far on St. Francis. has been two on uh, Mount Camel. All right. Ooh. Jordan Toll's not watching, and he might have paid for it, but he came back on defense and repented for that one. Rushing inside, offensive, traveling there on the other end. Rushing was got to get another nice layup there, but they say he walked. As he was trying to get his footing back down to get that layup in. I think Toll still had a football moment, but it's all good. The ace pulls up and shoots the three, and he's coming up to shoot three. Game early, St. Francis was in a close one with Gerstow in Franksburg back on the 17th of November. It, they, it took them about three quarters to find their way, and when they did, they was able to take care of Gerstow. We'll be seeing Gerstow again next Monday night against Mount St. Joe's. And that's a gang group, and we will see them twice next week on the Die Sporting Network. So stay tuned to that. We thank you for watching that Gerstow Loya game. It's good to bring it to you. So, two of three from the ace. As Little is in the game now. Rushing. And he got it picked as Jones is able to get the turnover for St. Francis. Rashid Jones inside, couldn't finish it. And the ball's going back to Mount Camo. A game Cougars group so far. Not intimidated at the moment here on the road. First big week of play. This is also both teams' Baltimore Catholic League openers as well. That one kicks back over. Finally, Edwards has it. He went up, and he's coming to shoot two as Murphy fouled him. Actually, they call the foul on West. And Edwards shooting a pair here. First shot, got it. Four fifteen here left in the first quarter. Second shot here from what was to cut the lead to three, and that one tipped and missed. The rebound over the west, and now the ace brings it up. Baldwin, Ali, lays it in. You already know that connection, folks. If you haven't seen it over the last couple of years, it's the ace, the Tolls connection. It wasn't a dunk, but it was a layup, and it works. Perry, that's a three from Little, and he hits it. How about this game, Mount Carmel team so far? Down by three here on the road. And the team that, that one's tapped. Nice defense there by the Cougars and St. Francis will keep the basketball on their end of the court. 3.35 left here in the first. Morris die here. Alexander Johnson has toes. Lost it out of bounds. I think he's still trying to get them football hands back to basketball together. But it happens. It happens. Rushing brings it up now. 3.20 here left in the first. Kicks it back over to Little. Now the ball back to Tom Thorns, excuse me. Back the other way to Perry. 
Little has it again. Rushing has it. Rushing drives. And the lane has been clogged up, and the ace gets it off the turnover. Fast break. Kicks it back over. Inside his toes. Inside it, not go. Murphy cleans it up and puts it in. Murphy drops the two in his first here in the home campaign in his senior year, and it's 16 to 11. St. Francis rushing. As again, they are meeting him. Perry got that dangerous pass. He goes coast to coast, missed it. Murphy grabs the rebound, brings it over to the ace. Ali, no, not there. It was a nice save, but we're not able to finish it. There goes Toes, and it went out. Back the other way comes Mount Camo, and Little puts it in for them in a timeout by St. Francis. Mount Camo down by three. They have kept themselves in it so far early in this one, but definitely showing their game ship this year. Come at you this week's episode of, of the Flex Zone. Coming your way, episode 209. Give you sports how you want it, when you need it, every 10 p.m. on WVGR Sports Network, as well as the Facebook page of the Flex Zone itself, which is inching very rapidly to 1,000 followers, folks. So you can follow that. Subscribe to the YouTube page of the Flex Zone. And we are coming your way. Other shows coming at you soon as well. So stay tuned here to the Flex Zone. Back here out the timeout. St. Francis trying to get their act together. Roger Jones brings it in. And the ace picks it up. He pulls up for three, his ace. That one's front end miss. Offensive rebound of Murphy, it did not go in. Back the other way is Little and Mount Camel. Little backs it up. Nice sandwich of defense. Little pulls up and he hits again. Little has done a little bit of everything so far for Mount Camel. It's a one point game. Alexander looking to check in for St. Francis as well as Dave Bussey. Toes gets on the board with a two. 18, 15, 125 here left in the first. Perry kicks it back over. Minor for three. That one tipped and missed. Here comes the ace. Back down the court. The ace coast to coast. Missed it off the side of the backboard. Back the other way is rushing. Rushing one on one. Reverso didn't not go. The ace gets the rebound back. Back over to Murphy. He's all alone. Throws it down with one hand. Murphy with four points so far, 2015. And a timeout by Mount Camo as it's 52.7 left, and they see the lead increase to five. Back here to game action and 49.4 uh, left here in the quarter. And it is a five point St. Francis lead as Morrow will inbound for Mount Camel. Back over to rushing now. That was a lazy pass and Alexander intercepted it. Rashid Jones pulls back to the ace. Shot clock at 27. Alexander shoots it and hits. Eight point lead now for St. Francis. Rushing. Defense. 
Back over to Perry. Perry drives. Oh, that was high off the glass and a miss. And Adrian Baldwin, the ace, gets the rebound. The ace pulls up. That one tipped and missed. And that's the end of the quarter. So after one is an eight-point lead for St. Francis, the defending BCL champions. But Mount Kelmo has not made it look easy, unlike a year ago here, where Mount Kelmo was wiped out on the floor. They have kept this game very close as we're going into the second quarter here. On the Die Sporting Network, we want to thank you again for checking out all the videos here. We'll be coming at you this weekend from the BCL WCAC Challenge at the Matha, including this St. Francis team going up against Paul Six, Gonzaga, and Mount St. Joe's, and St. Maria Goretti plays the whole school, Damantha, down in Hydeville. And that will be a good one indeed. We will be coming at you then. And that Monday night, we'll be at Mount St. Joe's, the Smith Center. Gerstel and Mount St. Joe's coming your way here on the Dice Swing Network. And then we'll be having highlights of Patterson's first home opening game against Wild Lake as well. So second quarter begins. Mount Camel will retrieve the basketball. Morrow will inbound again. Eight-point lead for the defending BCL champion, St. Francis. In their first BCL and MIAA game this year. A conference game, that is. Rushing. Drives. Reversal. He's shooting a pair. Second team foul against St. Francis. As Tom Montague looking to check in. Had Montague's breakout game against Calvert Hall here last season. He's a sophomore this year. First shot is in. Second shot here. For rushing. Puts it in. 23-17 game. Cuts. Pass it back over to Alexander. He drives. Nice pass to Montecrew. It did not go in. Montecrew fights for the rebound. Got blocked. And then the ball's everywhere. And Mount Kelmo will get it back. So Little will inbound the ball. And a fairly highly contested first half. That one's tapped, and it will stay with Mount Camel. Rushing, brings it up. Pull up jumper, that one back on miss. Rebound to Montague. Alexander. Over the toes, Montague fouled, 14 foul against Mount Gamma. ML there to the ace. Ace goes inside. Offensive rebound, and that one's shooting two. Nice from the sophomore, not giving up on his last couple plays there. And the senior. Take on Busby. He's shooting that pair. Hits the first. Second shot here. Goes in two. Lead back to eight for the Panthers. It's rushing. Brings it. Crossover. 
going inside. Offensive foul, used the form. Sixteen foul, one more. It's gonna be the one and one for St. Francis. Alexander brings it down. Freshman point guard. That's a three. Got it in there. A freshman has dialed up downtown twice. And the biggest lead for St. Francis, 11, 28-17. Trying to double thorns, turned over. Toes throws it down in the middle. That's the high athleticism we like to see. No camera will keep it. Timeout by Our Lady Mount Camel. As the second quarter, St. Francis has been able to assert themselves a little better. 30 17 game. And this one. Out, out the timeout. See if the Cougars can get themselves together offensively. As Thorns inbounds the ball for the Cougars. So they had injuries last season, derail their season. And May a Little is all alone. Blocked from behind by Tay Busby. That's a three from Toes, and that one's spinned out. Rashid Jones with the offensive rebound. Still down and still was able to keep it. Kicks it back over to Toes. Alexander's been hot from three, and that one didn't go that time. Offensive rebound goes in by Detroit Montecu. 32-17. Double, back over to Little. Nice defense as St. Francis has been able to increase that intensity. Kick ball. Ball swings in the other way. And Mount Camel will inbound it. Little. Will inbound. Trying to get both clocks in sync. Well, they got the, uh, yep, there we go. Shot clock is 26 off the kick ball. There's Little. Well, inbound. Foul off the ball against St. Francis. Only the 13 foul against the Panthers. Quickly, it's been a familiar name around this area the last couple years. Looking to drive, kicks it back over. Thorns had it briefly, rushing, pulls back, and an air ball. And a foul is called. Tolls with the foul. First shot here. Got it. Cuts into the scoring drought. Second shot spinned out.
Alexander. Kicks it over, toes. Drives, reversal, didn't go. Montecuri travel. Nope. They say it was a, say it was a, let's see what the referees say here. It was a foul against Mount Campbell. So the one on one is in effect as Dijon Montecuri will be shooting that. First shot is in. 33-18 lead for St. Francis. Second shot here. That one tipped and missed. Rebound to Edwards of Mount Camel. And here comes Thorns. Pass it over quickly. Over to Thorns again. Rushing. Shot clock at 10. Ooh, rush, rushing got away with a walk. Alexander, though, picks it up from Mount Camel, coast to coast. Didn't elevate on the layup. That one didn't go either. Toes back over to Jones now. Jones from downtown. That one back on. Rebound to quickly. Back over. Quickly, sandwiched in between. Not there. Alexander going up. Missed it. Offensive rebound didn't go. Rashid Jones, a senior, cleans it up and puts it in. 17-point lead here for St. Francis. Quickly. And the ball is lost out of bounds. No substitutions coming in. Get to see Jason Murphy and some of the seniors and there's some a little mix right now. Chad Brown gave the ball to the ace. Ace back over. Murphy inside lays it up. 19 point lead for St. Francis and they have had control of this game here in the second quarter. Back over to Perry. And now rushing with it again. A little switch off Brown. Actually not, not Brown, I'm sorry, Boglin. And a foul is called. 15 foul against St. Francis. Russian shooting a pair. And for Mark Camel, points, unlike in the first quarter, has been very limited here in the second. And like I said before, St. Francis has done a good job in the paint, making Mount Camel drive and then kick out. Second shot, that one goes too. So 37 20, 17 point lead for. The defending BCL champions. MIA, a conference regular season winner last year. The ace inside, that one didn't go. Brown trying to fight for it, and he turned it over. Back the other way, rushing. Ah, it should go, and it will to St. Francis. So Stanton. Sophomore kicks it over to the ace, the junior. Nice dish. Murphy puts it in and one more. A nice vision work there by the ace and then Murphy gets the and one. In and out. Offensive rebound to Morgan. Puts it in off the glass. Rologon puts the two in. Biggest lead for St. Francis, 21. Edwards trying to make something happen. 
rushing. Back over to Edwards. He pulls up for two. That one back on miss. Hold on with the rebound over to the ace. Takes it back. That's a three. Hits it! Kyrie Stanton drops the three in. 44-20 affair. And a foul. Sixteen foul against St. Francis, so one more Mark Henry shooting the one and one. Little will inbound. Perry brings it back up. Perry drives. Ah, oh, did not go. Iron has not been kind. The Mount Camel here in the second quarter. There's the ace. Has it now, pulls back, and hits the three. Thorns. The ace is looking for the steal. And the ball will stay with the Cougars. 119 here left in a half. Tale of two different quarters as Mount Carmel was able to hang in the first quarter. The second quarter, St. Francis has put on their dominance, and they almost have 50 points before halftime. Back over to Thorns and then kicks it over to Perry. Perry rushing. That's a three. That one front end miss. Here comes the ace. Nice pass! And he traveled. A walk. That was an interesting call, but nonetheless, Mount Camel gets the ball. Takes it back over. Thorns. Morrow, and he walks. Shock. Shot clock went off, but it should not go off. Shot clock back on. 49 seconds left here in the first half as the ace brings it up. Taking his time here. That's a three. That one tipped and missed. Murphy, long arms, grabs the rebound. Ball was everywhere. The ace back over. Count the basket and one for Mario Bogan. 26.6 left. And the and one, if he hits the and one, it's a 30 point game. And it is. 50 20. It's rushing. And he's bumped for that seven foul. He goes to one and one. We're rushing back at the line again. Again, it's not been many points scored. That one is in. That first one goes. Second shot. That one goes in two. So Murphy over to the ace. 17 seconds left here in the first half. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Ace pulls up. Front end miss. One. Not going to get it off in time. So the halftime score, 50 to 22. And we'll be back with the second half of this one here after this on the Dice Money Network. As the second half begins here, the Mars Die, Alexander Johnson on the camera, and, and it worked for you here today. And right now, St. Francis, as we come into the second half, has dropped 50 up. 
by 28 in this one, 50 to 22 against Mount Camel. 1 0 at St. Francis. And Mount Camel's 0 and 1 as they are in the rebuilding mode. Jordan Toes will inbound the ball here to start the second half once it gets in. The on the Dice Pony Network, another season of high school basketball. Back over. Didn't hear Russell West, but there goes Jones. That one tipped and missed. Ball back over to rushing. Kicks it back to the other end. That's a three, and that's a air ball. Rashid Jones, coast to coast, lays it in off the glass. Lead back to 30. And it's a busy week for St. Francis. Four games this week, including Auspicious Spalding. And uh, that's a three long distance and hits it from Perry. The ace fakes the pass. It's almost doubled. Back to Rajir Jones. Jones got a grab from him. Edwards, good work from him, keeping his footwork. It's a ball back to Thorns. Little over the rushing. Rushing drives off the back and puts it in. How about rushing here? He has made some amazing layups. Uh-oh. Lays it in. The ace. The toes connection continues on. Fifty-four twenty-seven. That's another downtown at Parado. Couldn't get it on the front end. Here comes the ace back over to Murphy. Murphy kicks it back. It then got turned over. Perry blocked from behind, and the ball's going to stay with the Cougars. Cougars keep it. Six minutes exactly here left in the third quarter. Oh, boy. Kicks it back over. That's a three from Rushing. That one didn't go, and the ball's going to go to St. Francis. St. Francis hosts John Kell here at home Wednesday, and they go down to Anne Arundel County to see Spalding Friday, and then Saturday afternoon at the Mathers. That's Paul Six. Jones back over to West. West, smart of him to hustle for that. Rashid Jones puts it in. Lead back to 29. 56 27. Rushing. Back over to Little here. Perry. Thorne. Blocked by Murphy. That's a drive. That's a throw down by Edwards. 56-29 now. West drives inside. That one missed. And out of bounds back to Mount Camel. Little from downtown and hits. Fifty-six thirty-two game. Already ten points in the quarter here for Mount Camel. Last year Jones brings it up. It's the ace. Pull up. Short. Offensive rebound to Murphy. That's the screaming. That was Jordan Toes with the offensive rebound, and he puts it back in. The ace steals it. Back over. Slams it down in the middle. It's Jordan Toes. A 
Looking for the double. Little. Spotley to get it out to Thorns. Thorns off the crossover. He drives and turned it over. Ball over to the ace now. The ace brings it up. Jones again. Hits again. Thirty-one point lead. Yeah, for the Panthers. Pull up jumper. And a foul. It is against the ace. So Little at the line shooting two, 316 here left in the quarter. First shot, back end miss. Second shot here coming up. By Little. That one tipped and missed. Murphy grabs the rebound. Over to the ace. Back over to Toes. Toes pulls up. Did not get it. And the rebound over to Perry of Mount Camel. He's been taking a couple ones from downtown. Minor back over. Merrow, first shot attempt for him. That one tips and missed. Jones. Ace. Three. Spending it out, Murphy, offensive rebound, and cleans it up, puts it in. 65-32. Drive inside, block from behind. The ace stepped out. As he was getting the ball, he was still out of bounds, and the ball back to Mount Camel. Back over. Blocked by Murphy. Here comes Toes. I think you know what's going to happen. Yes, sir. Fence Carter style throws it down. Back over is Perry. Blocked by Isaiah Jones. And then St. Francis gets it back. Time out by Mount Camel. 67-32 game. It's a 35-point lead in this one with 203 left. Back here, game action. St. Francis looking good in their home opener here against Mount Camel. BCL WCAC Challenge this Saturday. Bring that to you next week and then next Monday night taping. Gerstown against Mount St. Joe's. West danced on that baseline. He's able to keep it in. Toes, shot clock at 16, back over to the ace. And a turnover. Ball 
Over is Griffin. Couldn't get it. Murphy. Ah, the ace not able to connect. And Malcamo gets it back on the turnover. Morrow. Over to Minor. Minor pulls up and hits. Dialed up from long distance. Here comes the ace. Ali, you baby! Yes, sir! Oh, yes. That ace, Jordan Connection. Edwards back over to Perry. We are down to seconds here in the third. Perry kicks it back over. That's a long distance jump from Edwards. No good. West all the way. Lays it in. First two points for him in the game. Perry, shot clock is off. Pulls back, inside, and a foul. Second team foul against St. Francis, and Morrow will be shooting two. 13.3 left here in the third. First shot goes in. Seventy-one thirty-seven. Thirteen seconds and counting left. Ali -ho! missed it that time. Three back over. The ace pulls up at the buzzer and didn't get it off the glass end. The end of three is 71-37. St. Francis here in that home opener taking care of Mount Camel. And we expect more dunks and more layups here to come here on the Dye Spelling Network in this one. And what a matchup. We got coming for you this weekend. Between five matchups, and we go back home again. Lawyer Blakefield against Bishop Arntum to start off. And then Palati up against St. John's. And then after that one will be Matchup a lot of people are waiting for St. Francis, Paul Six, Gonzaga against Mount St. Joe's, and then finally the whole school, Damatha, will take on St. Maria Garetti with RJ Bankley and company. And that one should be a good one indeed. So for a lot of WCAC schools, it'll be their first or second game coming in to the young season for them. Monster Mount Campbell, they did put up 15 in the quarter. High scoring quarter since the first. In the second quarter, they got shut down and then France able to take advantage. So we're in the fourth, it's 71-37. Question is now, can the Panthers drop 100? That's a long distance three there. And that missed from quickly. Offensive rebound, Thorns another chance he hits. 71-40 as we have some seniors, some youngins in the game. Here for the Panthers. Alexander had amazing first half when he was in. That's a three. That one tipped and missed there on Taylor. And a foul is called. 13 foul against the Panthers. Fouls at this moment in the game is not an issue. Stanton will inbound. Alexander has it. Bump. 
back over. That's a three. And out. Offensive rebound, blogging. And smart play on him to keep the ball for the Panthers. A little less than a minute into the fourth quarter. And St. Francis is able to do their thing here at home. Tapped out of bounds. Oh, wow. They said Alexander tapped it last, and the ball's going to go to Mount Camel. Mount Camel gets it back a little. We'll bring it down. Oh, tried to pick it. Almost out of bounds. Thorns will inbound. Probably looking for quickly in all likelihood and does. Pull up jumper. Tipped and missed. Ball back over to St. Francis. Fast break. Passed it. Bogdan. That hits. And that was Taylor, excuse me, with the two. 73-40. BCL, MIAA Conference opener here for St. Francis. Nice ball movement there. Fakes the shot. That's a three. That one missed. Morgan with the rebound, brings it up. Tay Bussey, Come back. Alexander holds. Back over, that's a three. Hits it! Kyrie Stanton puts the two in. 76-40. Game with St. Francis. That one front end miss. Fast break, back over. Alexander, other way. Inside, it puts it in. Puts it in past Thorns and the lead close to 40. That's a three. Spinning and out. Baldwin. Back the other way. Stanton inside. And a travel. There was some walking. Right at the five minute mark. They're left in this one. Big fella thought he was going for a touchdown. And uh like get it there. It's all good. As they say, trying to figure things out in the early year. Kicks it back over. Drive inside. That one tipped and missed. Back over. Alexander got the pass from Busby. Busby from downtown. That one tipped and missed. Out of bounds. Ball goes to Mount Camel. Another guy is coming in. Pepper Smith. That's a three. That one's no good. Chad Brown and Detroit Montague. They're all about to come in the game. Four ten here left in this one. Ball should stay with St. Francis. Does. Shot clock right at 17. Hook shot, missed it from Montague. Montague snatched it back, got it back again and puts it in. Montague said I wanted to eat and he ate. No question about that. Perry swings it back over to Little. 80 to 40, and the score has been doubled up. Perry. Right, 
swings, little. No good, back the other way. That one's blocked. And offensive rebound, that's a goaltender. The basket will be scored. 318 left in this one. And said again, coming at you. This weekend at DeMatha with the BCL WCAC Challenge. And then following Monday, Gerstel Academy, we'll see them again. That's a three that hits. Taylor dropping another against Mount St. Joe's. We'll be the Smith Center for that. That's a three back from Perry. Time out by Mount Camel. So we'll talk it over. 38 point lead here for St. Francis. And uh, Right back to game action, and St. Francis trying to put the cherry on top of this cake and go to 2-0 and here on the young season. Back over. Kicks it back to Smith. That's a foul on the floor. Only second team foul, like I said, again, fouls ain't, ain't going to matter at this point. Smith, back over side of Montague. Smith for three, hits it! How about old Pepper Smith putting that three in? This point's like Pepper on a stake here for St. Francis. That's a three. That one didn't go for Dukes. Intercepted, as they say. Three on one fast break. Missed the layup, offense rebound to Murrow, and he puts it in. Couple minutes left. We have 152, exactly. St. Francis moving to 2-0. Bogging inside, that one didn't go. He gets his own rebound back, puts it in. And St. Francis, like I said, will be hosting John Kell next and then off to Archbishop Spalding. That one tips and miss as we get you Mount Kelmo schedule right quick as they uh, and look for their first win of the young season. And that's a foul. Something. that you don't want to see here in the lighter part of the game as it's 121 here left in this one. Now call number one, Khalil Dukes. Panthers basketball. Oh, Montecu wasn't able to get it there. Ball back. And a foul. John Kelmouth St. Joe's is playing Ooh, as we speak basketball. now down at the Smith Center. Coming up on Thursday, Loya. That one tipped and missed. Be hosting Mount Camel. Seconds left. That one goes missing. And Boyce Latin afterwards for Mount Camel. So. That's a three, that one didn't go. Offensive rebound, 
And a foul's called. 36.7 left. Again, this one. He's in the bag for St. Francis. Panthers two points away from the 90 mark. Two shot foul here for Morrow, hits the first. Check out our football matchup with Franklin and Dundalk. I can show you little clips this week as you will see Liganor, Franklin there in the 3A final in football and offensive foul of charge. Shot clock is off now. Dunbar upsetting in 1A on the football end, so their season is over by Douglas of uh, Prince George's County. Merva went down to North Point, wasn't able to get it done there. Had good seasons, however, representing the area. So it'll be Franklin Liganor. And that one went up, no good. Offensive rebound, that one didn't go. And that will do it. St. Francis, the defending BCL champions, open up BCL play with a dominating 88-51 home opener win against Mount Carmel. And the Cougars in search of themselves here in the early year. They dropped to 0-2 to start the season. So we'll bring you a very brief post game and then we will be going bye-bye for now. But we're coming up shortly with the post game. You stay tuned. All right, back here at St. Francis at the John and Joni's Fouts Gymnasium in St. Francis home opener. Roll through Mount Carmel tonight. 88 to 51 in a game where you've seen athleticism at its best. Jordan Toll's got it going in the second quarter. And third with dunks. The ace hitting threes. Guys looking good as St. Francis starts off their campaign to defend the BCL title. Mount Carmel in a rebuilding mode. Look good early in the game. Still trying to find themselves. We'll see them later on in the season. Probably a different team by the time we get on them. Our next action of games is this coming weekend, the WCAC BCL Challenge at DeMatha. Next Monday night, after those games, we'll be right back at Mount St. Joe's for Gerstel and Mount St. Joe's for that one. Should be a good one at the Smith Center, as always. Check us out here on the Dodge Sporting Network, as well as on the Twitter at Dodge Sporting Network. So, for my man Alexander Johnson, a.k.a. AJ, Little Cree in the background. I'm DeMars Dye. We'll see you at DeMatha this weekend. This is Dye Sporting Network.